Well, thousands of refugees have left the Idomeni camp in Greece to try to cross the Macedonian border. The mass walkout from the camp has faced little opposition from Greek police, who have been ordered not to use force against the refugees. The Greek government is preparing to relocate thousands of refugees stranded at the Idomeni camp due to the uh, poor weather and worsening conditions there. But many people don't want to move to government housing. Well, let's get more on the uh, latest situation in the camp. Natasha Exelby joins us now live from Idomeni. We can see you there. Uh, Natasha, good to see you. What are you seeing then at the moment with these, uh, these refugees walking out? Well, Paul, it, it started with a couple of dozen refugees and then that graduated to hundreds and then thousands of people making their way through this farm field behind me, hoping to get to Macedonia. And just to give you an idea of the difficulty of this, because the rain has been so heavy, it's not just a farm field, it's filled with mud. And we're seeing uh, people who are carrying kilos of, of their belongings. So lots of blankets, their tents and so forth. Um, many of the people are only wearing sandals uh, and the weather here is absolutely freezing and the wind has picked up massively. Um, we're also seeing people with their babies. Can you imagine, Paul, um, pushing a pram through this rugged terrain here, through this farm field, which eventually leads to more trees and uh, a forest of sort, or some woods, if you like, which they then have to go to to ultimately get uh, through to Macedonia, which may or may not happen because we have been told that uh, Greek police will be waiting for them when they get there. Their plan is to go from Macedonia on to Serbia, but uh, as you know, Paul, uh, the, the Serbian border is closed also. The, These people are incredibly desperate. And Natasha, we can see the camp behind you. You say that they're desperate. They've clearly had enough of the worsening conditions at the camp there. But has this walkout surprised authorities in any way? You've been speaking to the aid groups there. Were they in any way expecting this? Uh, I think that they were expecting something, Paul. Uh, this, this is a pressure cooker, if you like, and at some point it had to burst. Most of these people have been here for more than three weeks. Uh, we've been showing you for a, a, quite a while now the horrendous conditions that we've been dealing with. The aid authorities certainly empathise with their cause, but they don't in any way agree with what some of these refugees have been doing in terms of the alternate route to Macedonia. Uh, the people who have been moving through this field, uh, there seems to be three plans of attack from those people. One, they're hoping to get to Macedonia and then move on through to Serbia and then through the Balkans. The second plan of attack we're hearing about is some of these people hoping to meet up with people smuggling units who they hope will get them to Germany. This has been massively condemned by aid groups here because firstly it's illegal and secondly very, very dangerous. And the third alternative that some people are hoping to pursue is there has been a map, a paper map circulating around the camp, Paul, which is showing an alternate route where people can go from Macedonia onto Albania, then onto Italy, onto their uh, further into northern Europe and ultimately Germany. Whether they will get there, Paul, well, that's unlikely through this route, but desperate times call for desperate measures and these people are prepared to do whatever it takes to get out of this misery. Okay, Natasha, thank you very much for the update.